So you get to play Aurora, you know, Sleeping Beauty. Have you yeah. always wanted to play a princess, and if so, why? I had. I was a Disney princess girl, like, growing up. I watched all those movies, and, um, yeah, when you asked me, like, what do you want to be when you grow up, when I was little, I would say a Disney princess, because that's, like, the ultimate goal in life, I think. And to actually be able to say that I got to do that was, like, Incredible, especially um, especially Sleeping Beauty, because she was my favorite always. I felt like I related to her the best, because she, I felt like she looked like me the most. So you know, she had like the blonde hair and the pink dress. So and I was like, she's my she's my princess. So I would go to the Disney store and buy her stuff. I like that. <laughs> yeah. So what about her character mm -hmm. do you like the most aside from the physical yeah. look? She's she is probably the most. Good-hearted. I would. I mean, she. I mean, when you watch the original, she's pretty much all happy and always loving. She's very curious. But it was nice to um, in our movie to have more of a depth to her. You know, she wasn't. I mean, she had all those qualities of a princess and was very, you know, delicate and all that. But we wanted to add a little bit more. You know, because you you can only do so much in the animation. So. We really made her, you know, show more emotions and actually be sad and, you know, feel betrayal and all these things. So it was fun to discover that. But then also keep the, the stuff that I love so much. It's very good that you actually answered question three and answering question hey. two. You got a two for I got a two for out of you. Um, was it intimidating or exciting to see Angelina Jolie in makeup for the first time when you hit the set? For me, it was exciting. I would say I mean, when I met her for the first time, I was very nervous, and she was not. She was in normal clothes, um, just because she's so. I mean, she's Angelina Jolie. So to you hear that name, and it's like, oh my God, you don't know what to expect either. It's like, what is it going to be like? And um, but immediately from meeting her, she gave me a huge hug, and she said, "We're going to have so much fun working together." And she shook my shoulders, and um, that yeah, that was. From that point on, it was really amazing. Then to get to see her in the outfit, <laughs> I loved that because I loved the original so much to get to see kind of what her take on the, like the way Maleficent should look, you know, that was her imagining of it, you know, to have her in leather and fur and like all this. I will tell you that she adores you because oh. I just finished talking to her. Oh. Uh, when you worked with Robert Stromberg, I know directors are always different. So what was the great thing about this particular director? Yeah. Well, he was so, I mean, for Avatar, he did um, all the, the, the art production on it. So um, from that, all the set design. So he was so in that world. You know, he just knew, he had such, he knew the vibe of the movie and had such a vision of all the little characters and, you know, each thing that me and Angelina and Sam couldn't see, he could see. So he really, he helped in that way to, if there was any ever, you know, any questions about that, he would always answer them and um, and was so in touch with the story, you know, he really cared about the story. But I think that every crew member on that set, you know, was so passionate because of Sleeping Beauty, you know, it's such a classic. You touched on your clothes earlier, so mm -hmm. one of the questions here is, we want you to describe your favorite costume, mm -hmm. why it was your favorite, yeah. and how you felt wearing it. Ooh, I. Yeah, I had a, all my costumes were dresses. They were um, in the beginning. I wear a lot of peasant dresses because I don't. She, Sleeping Beauty doesn't know she's a princess. That's a deep secret that's hidden from her. So um, she's mostly in these little pastel peasant clothes. But then at the end, she gets to wear like the fancy princess dress with the crown, and um, that was my favorite. I would say it was all the little details of each thing, and um, like every morning they lace you up. You know, there's no zippers, any of that. Everything's you know, little meticulous. And um, yeah, so that was my favorite for sure. I got the crown and it was all very gold. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm almost done here. Sum up the overall experience in one word and then tell me why you picked that word. Ooh, I want to pick a good word. <laughs> um, let's see. I'd say whimsical. I would, cause it's. I mean, it's like a. It's like every. It's like a dream, you know. It's like all these. You're there, and I mean, you're getting to work with Angelina, and you're getting to play a princess, and then you're also in this fairyland, like all the time. So you just you you feel like you really are like living in the cartoon, <laughs> in a way. You know, you feel like that. So, yeah.